Okay, we're going to talk about a bit of beauty now. And, um, um, you know, so many people in the public eye don't admit to having tweakments or, mm. you know, injections cosmetic or fillers or procedures. any cosmetic procedures at all. Those who have, who are celebrities, include Cindy Crawford, Gwyneth Paltrow, Britney Spears, Nicole Kidman. That was Nicole Kidman, is that Britney? Yeah, <laughs> That's it's, Britney. It's, it's, hers Nicole. took longer. Uh, and then Courtney Cox. Um, and the, there's a lady called Lisa Rina, uh, who's from Real Housewives uh, in, uh, in America. But anyway, the thing is, they all look very, very good. They look good at all. But they've all worked. admitted. They've to all having, admitted. They've all admitted. To cosmetic to procedures. The people we know who you would know as well who don't admit to it. Goodness yeah. me. Well, but we is, tell them. No, no we won't. OK. <laughs> but it but, is it is very, very popular. Yeah. It's on the rise. Um, and we've got a leading doctor with us today who... One of it goes too far, he's Well, he, he's caused a bit of controversy, actually, because he's suggesting it has gone too far. That's Dr Stephen Harris. Uh, he actually says that we're twisting our bodies so much with fillers and implants now that we're resembling aliens. Um, so he's joining us this morning. Like that character oh, there yeah, Maleficent. from Maleficent. Yeah, OK. Now, um, the doctor is there. Uh, alongside a lady called Anastasia. And Anastasia joins us from Kiev in Ukraine there, and she says she has spent thousands on what you believe, Anastasia, is perfecting your look. And what I want to show people, Anastasia, is just a few years ago, just a couple of pictures of you before you embarked on these treatments. This is what Anastasia used to look like, and um, she now obviously looks, looks like this. Right, so... Um, so, obviously, the before treatment is on the left-hand side each time and the after treatment is on the right-hand side. So, Anastasia, how do you think your treatments are going? You're only 32 years of age. How do you think they're going? Uh, how do I... I'm sorry, can you please repeat the question? Yeah, how, how do you, you... You're happy with what is happening to your face? Yes, I'm very happy. I'm looking for my pictures a few years ago, and I think that I'm ugly. It wasn't a problem for me, you know? I was talking to myself like this, uh, baby, you don't like how you look like now, but you can change it, no problem, when the time will come. Yeah, so what, 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 what was wrong? You do? I'm just looking at that, I'm just saying, what, what was wrong with this lady on the left, who you were? I don't like my face, because, you see, I look like a hamster. My cheeks is here, and I love slim face. So, so, you, so you like to look and you like to look like a hamster. No, no, oh, uh, oh. I was. I think that I was like a hamster because my cheeks was here, and I love this line. You see, you All wanted right. you wanted them higher up, more defined. So tell us, Anastasia. I tell us what it exactly is you've done to your face. The procedures you've had, Botox, fillers. What have you had done? Of course, I have Botox because I'm 32. I need Botox. I have wrinkles. Yes. Uh, I have fillers in my cheeks, I have uh, fillers in my lips, uh, I have fillers here in uh, this jaw angles, yeah, and my chin. And, and do you look at anybody, we talked about various celebrities there who talked about treatments they've had, has there been somebody in the public eye maybe that's been an inspiration to you? Is there a certain way or person you wanted to look like? No one. I want to look like I am. Like nobody else, no. My doctor. I can say that this woman is beautiful. This person is also beautiful, but uh, I never was inspired by somebody. Never. Okay, you are you. Okay, um, doctor. Um, you, well, the reason we're talking about all of this is that um, you have recently. Um, you're a bit worried about this, and um, you say that there is a danger that people turn into what you term a twisted version of modern beauty that encourages people to adopt alien-like features, um, you're saying. Is this an increasing trend? So let me first clarify what I mean by alien-like features. I'm talking about um, what we refer to as distortions, uh, whether it be mistreatment or overtreatment, um, beyond what we would consider the normal range for the individual. So not like some alien from outer space, but uh, for the individual specifically. Yeah, and, and do you think Anastasia has been overtreated? Um, in my opinion, she looks to be overtreated. Um, she clearly doesn't uh, feel the same. 
but looking at her objectively um, from a professional point of view, um, she does appear to be overtreated. And um, I, I would also ask if you, if you feel the same. So I think we have a built-in mechanism uh, and we become immediately aware when someone is overtreated. But I suppose that's a matter of opinion, isn't it, Dr. Harris? Yeah, why is because it a you, you, I mean, you have your, <clears throat> excuse me, you have your own clinic. I understand the clinic is the largest user of Botox and fillers in the UK. So you are carrying out these procedures. So at what point does it become too much? Just a correction, I'm the largest single user. I mean, there are much bigger clinics uh, than, than mine. Um, it, becomes, it becomes too much when, um, when the look becomes exaggerated or outside normal for that individual. And we have to understand that there are inherent risks with overfilling, both to the physical and psychological well-being of the patient. And so these are things we need to consider and need to be taken into account. Um, and as I said, most of us can, uh, can see or can tell when someone appears um, exaggerated or, uh, or, or distorted. And so the risks are what we need to consider. Yeah, no. Anastasia says she is happy. She's very pleased with the way she looks. Um, do you think, or what sort of responsibility goes with being a doctor? You say you can see when, when things have gone too far. What responsibility lies with a doctor to point that out? Well, our first duty of care is to do no harm. And if we are exaggerating or distorting features, then we're not, we're not fulfilling that. Um, and so this is what we need to look at very carefully. And um, there has to be a process of education involved, uh, both, uh, both of our, to my colleagues and also to, with our patients. Um, in other words, they need to be made aware of, uh, of, of the risks that I mentioned. And Anastasia, has, has a doctor or practitioner ever said to you, that's too much now, you need to stop, that's enough. Would you listen if anybody told you to stop? Uh, by the way, I'm a psychologist by graduate, if you don't know. Uh, so, uh, no, uh, nobody told me that because all people with whom I work or talk, you know, about my appearance, they know me well. And they know that I'm a normal person, yes? I'm not crazy, not stupid, you know? Uh, I'm graduated, yes. So uh, I, I understand that this is extraordinary, yes? This is really extraordinary, but it's normal and it's good for me. I'm happy with this look. So in a way you agree with of the doctor. I will never listen to somebody. In, in a way you agree with the doctor because you've described yourself as a beautiful monster. Yes, the prettiest monster you have ever seen, no? <laughs> I mean, uh, Dr. Harris, Anastasia seems very confident. She said, you know, she, she's graduated as a psychology, with a psychology degree. She seems very happy with, with her look. But your concern is often for younger people who you believe are being influenced, uh, particularly with social media, with some of these extreme looks. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm a blogger, yes. Sorry. Uh, yes, I, I, I was think talk... that... Sorry, sorry. We've only got about 30 seconds, Dr. Harris, just about no, social media. About the standard of beauty, which I think is, is, uh, is, is being uh, twisted or, uh, or unrealistic expectations or um, standards are being set. That is what I was talking about. OK. OK. Doctor, thank, thank you, you very, very much very indeed. Much. Anastasia, thank you very much indeed. The most beautiful monster I've ever seen. Thank you.